have you ever been in Wisconsin? Jake, yes, I have been to Wisconsin, <laughs> yes. I've actually been to Madison, um, to the university there. And for, oh, actually, I went twice to conferences, and I talked to people there about that. So I was presenting some of the work we do here on that to colleagues, to friends um, in Wisconsin, so yes. All right, there. A lot of them are smiling. Like that's pretty cool that you were that you came to our state. Um, Jade, what? Yeah, of all the states, um, I haven't been to that many in the U.S. I've been to a few now, but there's a lot to get to. But I can proudly say that I've been to Wisconsin, and I'm kind of declaring that I've Would that be right? Yes. Very, very nice. All right, uh, Jade. Why are the male bats are not allowed in the nursery? I'm sorry, Jake, can you just say that again? Oh. Why are the male bats not allowed in the nursery? Why are male bats not allowed in the nursery? That's a really good question. <laughs> because for some species, some types of bats, the females will allow them in. But for other species, like um, they don't tend to allow them. And it may be that the females um, are picking particular All right. That, does that make sense, Jade? That was a good question. Um, Sam, go ahead. Read that way, though, so she can hear. Why does it seem that you catch many more females bats than male bats? Why are we catching more females than males? Well, that's also an excellent question. Do you know what? In the last two nights, it's completely switched. And we've had all the males out and just a handful of females. But we think that we were getting more females because a lot of them are lactating, meaning they're producing milk to feed their babies, their pugs. And so they're, even if conditions aren't perfect, they've got to go out and eat. So they have enough food to make food, to make milk for their young. And now the conditions are getting a little bit better because all that horrible rain has boosted the insect numbers. Now we're seeing the males again. So we think initially it was females because they had to get out there to get enough food so they could make milk. Ah. Excellent question. All right. Yeah, that was a good question. Thank you. Nick, go ahead. Do that eat or drink anything else than blood, insects, and fruit? Um, well, there are um, blood, insects, and fruit. There are some that specialize on taking nectar from plants and mm, nectar. flowers. And so they're very important as pollinators, just like bees pollinate flowers. That's very important pollinators here. Um, they pollinate one of the most famous fruits in this area called durian. Um, so they take nectar um, from the species, and then there's a few species, but not very many, that are proper carnivores. So they'll take small lizards, maybe small mice, small birds. There's even one species from South America that takes other bats and will eat other bats. Ooh. And there's another species in South America that takes fish. And another one yeah, we that... Read that. Yeah. Let me see. Fish. Oh, salt. Specialized in biting <laughs> salt. So, but the most bats tend to eat oh. insects and then fruits and then some nectar bats. And the carnivores are a little bit more specialized. Thank you. Uh, Jackson, go ahead. Do bats have a mate for their whole lives? The bats mate for their whole life? Um, probably not. Um, 
it varies from one species to another. So some species, it seems like a male will try and get a whole group of females and have a harem, and they may stay with him for a year or two, but they may then go to um, change males. Um, and in other situations, people, the bats just mate, maybe just for the night, um, and in other species, they um, will mate on and off over the years. So actually, they don't seem to pick mates and stick with them forever. So they tend to um, swap partners a little bit more. All right, thank you. Um, Larissa, do you have a question? Yes. How old are bats when they have a baby? How old do they have to be until they can have babies? Okay. Well, um, what we think for most species is they have to be at least a year old. So the year that they're born, they're juveniles, they grow up, and then because there's usually only one breeding season for most species, they have to wait for the next breeding season to come around. So the bats that we're catching now, the pups that you're seeing, they probably won't be ready to breed until this time next year. And that's one of the things that makes that quite endangered is it's very slow for the population, for all the bat numbers to increase. Because if you have to wait a year, um, it takes a while for your numbers to grow. Whereas if you're a rat, for example, rats will come to you within three, three months of being born. So, that's quite slow in the mammal world for breeding. All right, does that answer your question? Okay. Did, now, who else had a question about the age? About how long they, didn't somebody have one? So, Raina? How long? Yeah, go ahead, ask that. How long do they live in Malaysia? How what? long do they live in Malaysia? That's um, one of our research questions, because nobody really knows. So you know that we, be put, we put wing bands on the bats, and each mm -hmm. wing band has a number so that we can tell one bat from another, one individual. So um, we keep coming back to the same places year after year. So the oldest bat we've ever caught here is about seven years old. But we really don't know, and that's one of the things we're trying to find out. So that's a nice little scientist question, is that <laughs> we, we just don't know, and the only way we'll ever find out is if we can keep trapping banded bats year after year. Uh, the oldest bat in recorded ever was about 41 years old, and that was in wow. Europe. And the only reason they knew it was four years old is because they started banding bats sorry, 40 years old, and they started banding back that long ago, back in the 70s. Okay, wow, so that's pretty old. Uh, who hasn't gotten to ask one? Billy? How many kinds of bats live in Malaysia? Um, in the peninsula, so that's the bit of Malaysia we're in, mm -hmm. there's about 115, 160. It, it changes because we discover new ones. But about 115 species, so different kinds. And along with that question, how many of those would you say are truly in endangered right now? Um, well, if you look at the official statistics, it's probably the ones that are um, red-listed. So considered to be at some level of risk, probably about a quarter to a third. Well, that's quite a few. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, go ahead, Ken Mackenzie. What is the biggest bat in Malaysia? The biggest bat in Malaysia is actually the biggest bat in the world. Ooh. And its Latin name is Teropus vampirus. And it's a very, very large fruit bat. And the, 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 the largest fruit bats are called flying foxes. But they're not yeah. foxes really, they're, they're a fruit bat group. And that bat can have a six foot wingspan and it can weigh just over a kilo, 1.2 kilograms. Um, and that's the largest bat in Malaysia and it's also the largest bat in the world. And unfortunately, it's found, it's found in other countries, 
But in Malaysia and some of these other countries, it gets hunted quite um, intensively, so its numbers are going down very rapidly. So that's one of the bats that everybody's rather concerned about. And is that the mainly the farmers hunting them because they um, they damage their fruit, their crops? Um, it's actually people hunt them here for food and for traditional medicine. Oh, okay. In Indonesia, which is not far from Malaysia, it's mainly for food. Oh, so you could buy yeah. one of these amazing bats that might live 20 years for about $2 in the oh. market. So they actually eat those, wow. Thank you. Um, who hasn't, anybody who hasn't? I have a second question. Oh, no, who hasn't asked the first one yet? Uh, Has everybody asked, asked one? I have yeah. a second question. Okay, Jake, go ahead. Uh, how, like, how, like, uh, big is the bat is? How big is a fruit bat? Oh, the one that she was just talking about? Yeah. How big would that be? Yeah. How big would that um, be? Uh, well, if you have two, when I hold it, I need two hands. And I guess it's that the, its body for you guys is probably about the length of your forearm, maybe. Okay. And so then the its your... wingspan is, yeah, I don't know, Mr. Paulson, how tall are you? Uh, about five foot ten inches. Okay, so wingspan is about the wings, about the height of Mr. Oh. Paulson. Oh. Well, the wings um, would be like this. Weigh about so. 1.2 kilos. So oh, one of the heaviest ones. So that, those are the biggest fruit bats. With the insectivorous bats, the biggest insectivorous bat that we have here is the Chiromeli, the naked bat that we posted some photos of, and that's about can get up to about um, 200 grams. Okay, thank you. How um, how much longer do you have in this this current study? How long are you going to be um, staying in Malaysia then? How long will that last? Can you last? Tell me, I have about another month. Um, my students will be here for another two months or so. So we hope that we'll be back next year. So the project's been going for about ten years, um, and. The idea is that we keep coming back and banding everybody and monitoring the numbers of the species. Um, so it's the short term, about a month, and then long term, hopefully it will be for quite a bit longer.